Hey Nick, how's it going? This is Josh. I'm just uh, kind of going through some things about your website just to let you know um, about what I'm doing. Um, you know, monthly I'm I'm billing you for um, or charging you right um, for uh, maintenance and just sort of maintaining and keeping the site from crashing. And so uh, a big part of what I'm doing is I have to daily, almost daily, I come in here. And I have to check, you know, all of the attacks that are going on, right? This is um, an example here of somebody trying to log in with that username and they're trying to use the old password that we had. So somebody, I changed the password, right? And somebody's trying to log in with the old information. Um, and I've already blocked a significant amount of um, attacks from other users trying to use other passwords. Um, and a lot of them are from coming in from China. So I'm thinking that you were hacked by somebody in China and, and they're trying to get back in. Now, the issue that we're running into and that I'm running into is that your core files have been um, compromised. Um, so what does that mean, right? So like um, the core files um, that, that kind of are in your, um, you know, like, you got plugins, right? And then you've got content. And then you've got these are just logs here. Um, there's like a var PHP file that's in the back end, right? I've been going through and scrubbing them and trying to delete what I can of um, what could be a potential um, beacon. And in the world of like uh, um, this is a malware plugin here that I can use to kind of go through and look for what kind of code has been implanted on your site. Um, but it's it's really, um, really bad. So what I end up having to deal with is, is that sometimes these beacons will, somebody will get in through a beacon that's just kind of like going, hey, look, you can come in through this little hole that I've built in this um, website, right? <clears throat> and they can bypass my firewalls and my blacklist. Um, and they get in and they change the password on me. And then I have to manually go in through the GoDaddy account, and I've got to access the site from the back end, rechange the password, and figure out um, what IP address got in, and then blacklist it manually. And so it's a it's a pretty uh, it's warfare, right? It's cyber warfare that that's going on. Um, I have a background in that um, just in general, but I'm gonna tell you now that like the ship's on fire. Um, it's not, I'm going to put out the flames as best as I can, um, but I'm not sure that I can keep it afloat forever. Um, I can't guarantee that. Now, you know, if for some reason it does crash inevitably, right, of course, if there's no site, there's no maintenance, and I, I can't charge you for maintenance, right? Um, but at the same time, it's like we need to start thinking about a plan to um, essentially make a new ship, right? Because I've looked into ways to like kind of scrub the back end files and it's going to cost thousands of dollars for the scanning software to be able to go in and, and delete that um, all of the malicious code that's been installed in your back end. And the best way and the easiest way is to kind of start fresh, you know, go in and, um, and cut everything, not use any content, not use any files from this website because each file could be planted with, with malware, right? And so I'm just bringing this up to you right now. It's not something that needs to be done right now. Um, you know, we're, we're not at a point where it's like, hey, we, we've got to make changes absolutely right this second. Um, but it's going to need to be something that is, you know, eventually discussed. So give me a call or, um, you know, send me an email if you want to talk more on it. Thanks.